<laughs> okay, next thing, ad hoc committee on the homelessness. So, uh, um, Norma Conger could not be here tonight, but she led a large group of number of people to discuss it. Uh, we looked at it, they looked at it. It's a complicated issue, and most of it is outside of the charter of the Neighborhoods Commission, but there are things that we can do, such as uh, share information with the public and communicate and collect information from the public. And so I took, I met with, I talked with her, got her letter, uh, removed most of the legalese and made it into a short letter to the mayor and city council. We have a draft, uh, uh, any comments on it? If you like it, I'll just cross off the word draft and submit it, or questions and comments? Yeah, I don't like this letter at all, I must say. I think anything that we issue as the commission ought to have impact. Okay. In other words, that, that somebody ought to listen to what we say and that there ought to be a consequence of that. So if you read this from the, say you're the mayor and you receive this in the mail, by the end of it, you, there's nothing there. There's it's nothing. we can do this instead of we will. So we, we are listing off a list of possible things that we might do, but there's no commitment. There's no actual, we don't move the ball forward on this. Okay. And that's all I got to say on it. So will, will you commit to doing all these things? Or will you commit to doing some of these things? I think we all in this room do a lot of these things, to be honest with you. I have nothing wrong with the list itself. I have a problem with the letter actually not not kicking the ball down the road at all. That's my only point. Okay, how would we... Well, how? I think what he's saying is someone said, we can, is that we will. We should be doing, using the word will. We should remove the word can. Rather than okay. can, because it sounds like the one or two. Yeah. So that, that's the question then. Will we do these things? I didn't want to overcommit us either. So I mean, uh, um, that's that's why I wrote the word can. I want to get. But why send the letter then? Why don't we just not send the letter? I don't see what this does to improve the homeless situation. What this brings to the party. What it does is indicate that we have spent time talking about it. We spent a lot of time talking about. It. I was trying to get a some product out of this rather than just sit around and talk about it for months and then say, well, that was fun. I was trying to, in part, this is for us, too, to say well, these are things that we can do. I'm trying to talk to us here. This is what we are doing. Here. Just a, a couple of things. Uh, number one, it's, we're outside our charter here. I'm sorry, what? We're outside our charter. This is not part of our scope of, of work that we're, we're charted to do. Yeah. At home. It's not transportation or budget. And, um, you know, last sentence here says, we in the Neighborhoods Commission look forward to doing what we can do to help alleviate the problem. You know, that's an action kind of statement that says that we're going to do something and act on something. And that's the way I answer it. So, I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of so ambivalent about this. I mean, yeah, I, I realize that homelessness is an important issue. I'm not trying to minimize that. I'm just trying to put it in the context of where we are as a neighborhood commission and where that fits into our agenda and our, our scope of things to do. So I guess I came from it from the point that it does impact us in the neighborhoods. And so we wanted to try to figure out what can we as a neighborhood commission do and what we can raise public awareness. Uh, some of the issues were when the some of the council, the council was considering setting up camps and then they start uh, encampments and there started being a uh, pushback from some districts. They didn't want it in their districts and so we could do public education. So that was you know, public awareness, raise public awareness to help alleviate the not in my backyard concept. Well, maybe, maybe that's the thing we need to say, that we will do what we can to raise public awareness and, and something like that. That's what I thought. Yeah, I mean, I mean, take that kind of approach. So uh, this is a letter I think we should send, um, and the it is out of our scope, and it is a way to signal to the mayor and his office that this is something we would like to be invited formally to play a role in. Whether it means changing the neighborhood's commission's charter, I don't know, but I think the issue is also so severe, and there's so much public passion about it that I think. Inviting to be called upon to serve is the appropriate way for us to make our concern known, given what we have to work with right now. I think we should send it. 
And to that, we could say that both in the other letter, when that comes time and it's written, that we support funds to help deal with this issue. And secondly, we support the mayor's program and multifaceted approach to relieving this issue. And if we put it in the terms of we support and we'll do what we can with the invite, exactly. it okay. simplifies it. So, so I thought we had that in the letter here already. So I guess I'm just uh, highlighted or underscored. Well, I like what Pete said about the, you know, we can, we can't, but if you change all those to will, then um, we'll, we'll be doing what Neighborhood Commission does. Because it's sort of like we can't um, ignore this. It's an impact on each one of our neighborhoods. I mean, our neighborhood is, has changed because of uh, the homeless encampments all over the place since the ju jungle was, you know, um, thrown up for grass or disconnected or whatever you call it. Linda Lock, um, District Board. I don't, I don't see this as being outside the scope because right. we're we're talking about we're going to bring as much information back to our groups yeah. as we can to inform them, to let them know what they can do, uh, to let them know what's happening, what the city, county, and state is doing. I see that as part of our responsibility is to keep our people informed, bring back any ideas that they might have, and send them where they belong. But we're not asking to get out there. And, and do the work that the city, county, and state are doing. So, uh, Pete, would, just above the, the bullets, would it, that sentence where it says, this letter lists some of the means by which we may be able to help, you're saying if, I, if we strengthen that sentence, would that answer your concerns? Uh, no, but I, I, I don't want to be the outlier on this. I don't think that this offers any, I don't think this contributes anything to the, to resolving the homeless problem. It doesn't. Mm -hmm. well, we're not housing people, no. Okay, so why write? That, that's my thing. Change, uh, it, so I, I uh, changed all the cans to wills. If we did that, I think there would be value added, yes. But I'm not sure we're ready to commit to all those things. Well, all we're committing to is um, being aware of it and, and educating as much as we can um, our own people, you know, our own communities. And that has, having a positive attitude, I mean, some people are really like ready to kill the homeless, you know, because they're ruining their property value, you know. I mean, there's a lot of negativity in our neighborhood. If we could, you know, somehow neutralize that. I, I, I'm not looking to argue. I, I just that's just my opinion. You know, I'm right. happy happy to be outvoted. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Chair, um, yeah. homelessness doesn't fall within the purview of the mission of the four areas that the council assigned to you to give them advice on. Um, I think that if you want to address homeless issues and you want to support the mayor's program or whatever the thing is. You know, you have a budget letter in which you can say that, 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 you know, include a sentence or include a paragraph or include whatever you wanted to say. We support, you know, after, after having listened to public testimony at several meetings, we support the, uh, the mayor's initiative uh, on X amount of funding for the issue of homelessness, recognizing that there is a housing advisory committee, there is a, a, a whole special coordinator of the city of uh, Ray Bramson, who's done a couple of presentations of this commission over the last year or so, 12 months, to give you an idea of um, what's going on, you know, how it impacts the neighborhoods and what's, what's happening in the jungle and other places. But um, you're charged with four different areas, uh, public safety, DOT, um, code enforcement, um, the budget. Uh, this sounds like it would be a line item in as um, as has been mentioned, you know, support the mayor's budget proposals or whatever. But I think a separate letter, which addresses the issue of homelessness, doesn't fall within what your mission is. And and if you try to, you know, it's if you try to squeeze it in there, you you kind of do a disservice to the mission of the of the commission in relation to you know, the other areas that you're supposed to be looking at and making, you know, policy recommendations and or 
um, outreach efforts or whatever. So uh, bear that in mind, having been around here with all of you since the beginning, that you may be tempted to go ahead and address a lot of different issues. And there, it's not that they don't need to be addressed, but you've got other groups that are already addressing that are specific to that. And one of the things that the original pilot was very careful about was, I guess, what we call mission creep. Don't go into the arts group or the library group or whatever. Be very careful and, and stay within that area. And that's what we recognized after spending months working on it is that there was very that it was all in the charter of other groups, except for the community information that uh, exchanging of information that is within our charter community outreach. And so that's what this thing is saying that we will help with. Right, and, and that's what you've been doing. You've been listening to did the departments come and talk to you about the information and part of what you're supposed to be doing is using that information in your newsletters and your in, in the groups that you report back to. Um, so I guess the question then becomes have you been doing that? And yeah. if you have been then what are the examples of how you've been doing that as opposed to sending a separate letter? So, so part of this also is in response to the commission, the council's request that they hear from us more than just once a year as an annual report. They wanted to get some feedback as to what we were spending our time on. And so that was the other point of this is to give the feedback to the mayor and city council that we have considered it, recognize that it is outside of our charter, but committing that it is a, let him know that we know that it is a serious problem and that we can help with this community outreach. This, that's why I was putting a can rather than will, because I can't commit to what all we can do, but this, these are, we recognize that much, we're not gonna house the homeless, we're not gonna right. take care of that, we're not gonna feed anybody, but we can share information, and that's what we're trying to acknowledge here. Larry, maybe we can just, we can simplify it by saying we support the efforts at, or outreach of, for the homeless hotline. I've been promoting the homeless hotline via social media, on live 365 radio for Santa City College um, on next door. So any way that I can get that homeless hotline out, which is um, exactly. when we had the presentation from, what was it named? Mario. Who gave the Last month, hotline. Mario Masio. I can get that phone number. Then. And just to bring this into clarity again, um, at the April meeting of the Neighborhood Services Education Committee, uh, there is a placeholder that I'll be preparing a report on what the commission has been doing for the last six months. Um, so that's, uh, that will go to Neighbor Services and Education at the request of Council Member Rocha. Um, and uh, what I have done in the past and what I'll do again is outline all the things that you've done and then that then goes to the council for their records. Uh, what you're talking about is something different. You want to send a separate letter saying we're doing this on homelessness. Want to closure to the different tasks that you took on uh, work plan? I'm just simply saying to you for clarification's purposes that it doesn't fit into the mission as staff. As staff, I'm advising you that it does not fit into the purview. I understand what you're saying, which is it's outreach and it's, you know, we're, we're whatever we're doing. Um, if you're going to be reporting on that, then I think that you need to take the extra step and say we've listened to these presentations, we've gone back to our community groups, we've reported out to them, we've included it in the communications. And I'm not sure if you can do that just yet. That's part of what Matt's talking about with the communications outreach. How do you document, how do you do that as part of your mission? I don't think you've got that in place yet. Uh, Good. Good. I'm sorry, I don't understand what the intent of this letter. It, it sounds to me like we're saying, yeah, yeah, we know about it. But we're not committing to doing anything. I'm gonna repeat on this. Um, I'd like to have to propose at least three. If this letter had three things okay. narrowed down, I mean, you have like seven things. If we just had three things okay. out of all this, that we can actually all commit to doing or have been doing because a lot of this is already being done 
um, I would be happier if this is a letter that's supposed to represent. Delete some of the things. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's too many things. Can we just commit to three things that we can actually do? Which ones? Um, so, for example, um, I mean, like educating the people about the riddle homelessness, that's not. Um, if we could do the first one, because we, we know the proactive measure is being taken by the city of Santa Rosa. I like that one. They've been telling us here, they've given us a report. Our neighborhood Commission can encourage residents and neighborhood associations to participate in events such as volunteering in shelters. That's something that we do. Um, well, while you look at that, let me ask uh, so Nicole. I think it's appropriate that we send it as is, given that this is such an early effort from the group. I think this particular mayor and his body of leaders will appreciate um, the group stepping out of perhaps his comfort zone, and the group, um, you know, you looking to say, yes, let's look how, how So, make a motion, do you want to make any changes, to the I motion? make a motion to send this letter as is. Just as is, okay, I'll have, uh, is there a second to that? Second. Okay. Just send as is, uh, recognizing that it does have, it's not perfect, but it is something. So let me just ask a question. Can we at least include the homeless hotline outreach efforts? Yeah. By some of us, yeah. I will add. Adding, friendly adding, friendly, uh, friendly amendment, adding detailed information about specific actions we can take in the form of the specific actions <coughs> to urge our neighborhoods to use the hotline and the information that Desert has provided. Seconder is happy with the friendly amendment? Yes. Okay, let me call the question. So all in favor of, with, with the addition of the homeless hotline member, sending this letter to the Mayor City Council, all in favor? Let's see, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and opposed to sending the letter? One, two, three, four. Oh, I sh I'm sorry, I forgot to take public comment first. So. Let me, let me get to public comment. I'm sorry. Um, Thank you. Yeah, just really quickly. I, I, uh, I got ahead of myself. I'm sorry. I've been a resident of San Jose for about 30 years, and one of the great annoyances I have over that span of time is that the city keeps uh, uh, setting up committees of the citizenry to accomplish things, and then when that citizenry starts taking action and being proactive, the city says, you can't do that. It's within your charter. Okay. I'm not within your charter. And that's like what's happening right now strikes me as a case of that. All right, so we have on the one hand that the letter is not strenuous enough. It says we can. We have on the other hand that we're not willing to say that we will because for a couple of reasons, one that starts giving direction to the city. I suggest that you do something like this. Instead of saying we may be able to help or we can or we will, say we are willing to. For example, the Neighborhoods Commission is willing to help educate. I'm not saying it's going to happen. Not forcing it on anybody, but putting out that energy. Okay. Bullet number two, we can help. The commission is willing to help. Education, da 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 da. So you got the middle ground. You're putting out the energy that you wanted. You're satisfying that goal. You're look more strenuous than you are with just a simple can, and you're not giving any direction to the city whatsoever. Right on. Friendly amendment number three. <laughs> and Adding second. Word, willing. <laughs> yes. Changing. Thank you very much. Willing to. Willing to. Okay, so no further discussion. All in favor? Hold on. We got oh, questions. Question? Uh, discussion? Yes. So I don't exactly know how to do this, but I'm the one I'm not comfortable with really is for us to help offset NIMBY tendencies. Okay. I don't think that. I think we can do all of these other things in a good spirit, but to try to talk somebody out of not in my backyard when, with homeless people would be a futile and frustrating effort. Mm -hmm. The last bullet on the, on the first page. Yes, no? I'm actually not okay with changing that. I don't know keep it. I put it in there because I've heard of some council members putting in their websites saying, oh my God, the homeless are coming to our district. And I thought we, as our purpose, could try to inform the neighborhood 
associations that is not that serious to trying to help counter some of those concerns. It was saying that we could try to help. That was the intent of that sentence. We're not, we're not encouraging. We're trying to back off people hating homeless people. We can help and educate. And sort of yeah. code for that. We can help with the educational and informational exchange to help offset the tendencies. So would you like some other word instead of NIMBY? Or is, I mean, you see what I was leading up to was the concern that some stories have been circulated. Maybe reduce instead of offset. Okay. Number four. Okay. I think I'm number four. Substitute word reduce. Okay. Thanks. And accept it. Okay. As so, adding the homeless hotline number, changing, adding willing to rather than can or will or whatever, and reduce rather than offset. Letter to the city council. All in favor, say aye. 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 One, two, three, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Wait, ten, come four or against? Eleven. Four. 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 One, two, so I think it passed. So I will send the letter. What is it? One to two. With changes. <laughs> Thank you. I will make the edits. I will try to get a hold of Norma. I, 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 I wanted to have her co sign it since she spent so much effort sharing this commission. I wanted to have her do the recognition for it. Okay. I know, and I need to get moving on the next thing because I